you know, after it's done, we, we will get it on the on the on the YouTube and everything like that, so y'all can follow up if, if y'all at work or doing what y'all doing. Uh, we once again we here with Young Kizzle. You know what I'm saying? It's Slick Kiz on uh, Facebook. Um, Instagram is underscore one. Uh, w o k i z z o. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah. So that was that was how I'm feeling. Um, listening to it, you know, I I I, I see where you going with with the words. So. You know, uh, those that's tapped in at least in Connecticut, they know right now Bridgeport um, is is top or or at least in the top three with the with the with the murder rate. Uh, you know, following with New Haven and Hartford. Right. So I know, you know, once again with music, you want to vibe off of what your environment is like. Like we can't be talking about you know dandelions and flowers and shit, and we out there seeing. Crack and, and dope and, and you know guns and shit in the street. So, um, is that like is the the base of that song is 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 basically what you saying as far as like what what's going on out here with like the the, the streets and shit? It's too much street shit going on, man. Yeah. Feel me? Like niggas, the old niggas. I'm gonna speak on the old niggas because feel me. I'm I'm getting older myself. Feel me? I'm gonna speak on the old niggas. They ain't show niggas nothing. So feel me. Mm. They ain't help. They ain't help nobody get. Like, feel me? If you see something, a young nigga go do something for him, bro, bro, shit, cause he could be out here losing his life. I'm be a hundred. I lost my brother. You feel me? Ever since, shit been feel me. And I gotta get on. Like, I got a kid too. So feel me? I ain't about to leave him out here. I already gotta do feel me what I gotta do right now. Feel me? So I ain't about to leave him behind. So feel me? For all the old niggas watching this shit, man. If it's a young nigga out there that you know, you see something, invest into that little nigga, bro, cause he he could be gone tomorrow, bro. I yeah, seen definitely. it happen. Like, I seen it happen plenty of times. Like so, feel me. That's that's uh, a part of the reason I'm, I'm doing this podcast. You know, because I'm an artist, but I I don't um even when it comes to mo monetizing and money wise and stuff mm -hmm. like that, I want to make sure that I I leave the game uh, helping the game and and and, and passing the Facts. torch down to to somebody like you. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So when it come to that, and as well as what's going on in the streets, because I I've been in and out of it, and and I lost multiple homies and even was a you know I, I've been shot and different things like that so mm -hmm. I, that's why I bring you know younger dudes on like you to um to t definitely tap into the music but right. also just vibe with you on, on on what's current that we know that's going, going on, on in the head. streets right. and we both know even if you're not involved in Bridgeport right now it's just ping pong like we could walk outside and, and, and actions could just happen just because we might be on the wrong side or the right side, whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't nobody in the streets, bro. It's a bite, man. A yeah. bite. People, us black people, us black kids, feel me? Even, feel me, Puerto Ricans, even the white, a bite losing their lives out here, man. So, feel me? Like, it's like too short. Like, how, how old is your, your seed? My son, too. He about to be three in November. So. Three in November. My, my daughter, uh, three now. She'll be four next month. So, he, he a little too young to, to to listen to understand your music right. um because like my daughter she vibed to my and don't know what i'm you know speaking on right. but so i say in 10 years because then he'll be 13 mm -hmm. and and he looked back and, and he listens to this song or any of your your, your, your your tracks on the album um what what would you say to him or, or what kind of guidance you give to him so maybe he don't follow the the development that you made was in five three two years ago I mean, I got switch. I got for me. Like, what, what, what did he say? He said, "You can't change the world unless you change yourself." He said something like that. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. I gotta change myself first. Cause he look up to me first, even though he yeah. don't know what I'm saying. Yeah. He watch my YouTube videos. He listen to my songs. You feel me? So I got regards. I gotta show him right from wrong. You feel me? Like what I'm living, how I'm living right now. That shit not right. You feel me? That shit yeah, not yeah. right at all. You feel me? So I won't even want. Feel me? I'm not even gonna show him none of that. Yeah. Just, I'm going through it now, so he's seeing for he's seeing yeah. my first impression of what I'm going through. But when he when he get the chance to understand, I'ma show him like. This is what yeah. I went through, and this is what I had to do. Had to get to make out, sure that you don't go here. through that too, like for me, because I don't want you growing up. In well, the I, I, I'm gonna salute you off the rip just for saying, like you, you still. I, I don't want to say in the mix, but you, you still trying to survive. Hey, hey. You still trying to survive. So you know, and I and I've noticed a lot of artists like they 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 speak blindly, like 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 you know, we already just seen in the past two three years whether it's Nipsey. Pop Smoke, King Bond. We seeing dudes that got so much money that like we still living in in in, in the jungle. You know what I'm saying? Throw that and shit these away, dudes, man. These, these dudes carry that shit with them. I was talking yeah. to my cousin, like, feel me? Yeah. He, he told me let go of the hurt, like, feel me? And stop carrying that shit on my shoulder. 
think that's what we all got to do. Artists, even niggas in the industry, y'all got to let that shit go. Yeah. Especially if you change, if you able to change your people's lives. If you let that shit go, bro. You feel me? I'm not saying don't rap because art is art. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, don't yeah, rap yeah. about it, but feel me? Put out a message. You feel me? And, yeah, and, change, exactly. and change everybody else around you. You feel me? Because life too short, man. And, and shit, feel me? the content, like, that's why, like, the content that I could even hear through your songs maybe five, even six, seven years ago was the same as that content that I was putting out. Right. So as you grow as a, as a man, you, you it, naturally you'll, you'll get to that stage. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? When you hear my what I'm talking about today is 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 more the overall, like now I could, I'm speaking on like after death, the, the mom hurting and the, the fatherless ch- children and stuff like that. So right. you get there, like you Hell know what I'm yeah. saying? It's dope that at your age now you already realize yeah. that you you trying to work your way. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm concerned myself drums. I could talk about bang bang shooting. Yeah, yeah. All these niggas, but feel me, it ain't, it ain't gonna do nothing. But how niggas after you yeah. or feel me get you indicted? You feel me? The, the laws is watching. Yeah, that I, I, I salute you, man. I, I salute you, man, because I, I I I've interviewed like quite a few artists I say in, in your generation and the ignorance I, I've heard is like you know what I'm saying like they, they don't get it but I still like I said I, I try to interview y'all and try to still give y'all y'all exposure mm-hmm. and, and talk a little sense because you know it'll hurt me if anything happened right. um, and, and and just recently with a I, you know I won't speak on the name but the, uh, the artist I actually was supposed to interview before you um, he got killed. You know what I'm saying? So, and and and, that, and, the, and the deep thing about it, you know, um, not to dig too deep into the politics out here, mm-hmm. but I've been trying to interview artists from different areas of the city right. because I didn't want to do back to back artists from the same side, and then even you or anybody be like, "Dang, he only rocking nah, with this side." Me, it ain't I, like never, that. I never feel like that because you know what, business is business. Yeah, 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 yeah. What we got going on in the streets ain't none of y'all business. You yeah, know? yeah, like, yeah. Whoever got something positive going on ain't got nothing to do with you. I be trying to tell cameramen and, <laughs> and producers <laughs> and engineers and all that type <laughs> shit. Like, you feel me? Don't, don't feel me. Do not, don't sell that. Feel me? You can sell the ops a beat, nigga. Go ahead, yeah. nigga. Make your bread, but feel me? Don't like, don't. But I don't know, bro. Ain't nah, nah. In the gutter, I'm, right, I'm, I'm happy you said that because when when I was um and and you know. Everything with me is documented, Google, YouTube, but, you know, I was like, I, I still say I'm undefeated with the diss rap, so I, I had a time where I was just dissing mad artists, you know what I'm saying, right. and and then I'll do either an interview or a music video, and like, the, the, the videographers was like, nah, they're not going to shoot my video. Cause me, I want to go to the ops hood and shoot the video. So everybody was like that, like you know what I'm saying, like oh nah, we don't want no parts and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm glad. Like, yeah. Just a producer, like you just, you're just my. And I used to say the same thing, like y'all good. They don't even, you know what I'm saying. But uh, uh, I'm.